food started as a crazy idea and some weird fermentations in my garage. Now, we have an innovation lab sparking a full-fledged national movement progressing beer and food. The stuff that we're doing is hyper innovative. This is the start of something really special. And you guys are gonna remember like years from now that you're in this tiny little room when there are chefs all across the country applying this brewed food methodology. And that's one of the things that you know brewed food is really built to be is kind of a resource for chefs and a connector between chefs and brewers. That aha moment or that moment where like you make a weird whistling noise and the dog goes, Mur? I want to create that moment in people where they go, oh fuck, I didn't know that was possible. The approach for chefs starts by looking at the brew house as a place to find ingredients and seek inspiration. So we go directly to the source. How do I use this ingredient? How do I take what's happening in here and turn it into food? Well, there's a couple things going on in hops that are very important from a flavor aspect. So um, the bitterness that is very commonly associated with hops and is hops are used for in beer is just one aspect. Uh, and so that comes from the alpha acids. Okay. Um, so alpha acids are a component in hops, um, and the way to bring out that bitterness is they need to be boiled, they have heat added to them, because there's actually an organic chemistry reaction that'll take place. So in this beer right here, this is going to be an ale strain, uh, but this is also a fun beer because it's a uh, Berliner Weiss, which means that we use lactobacillus or a bacteria. So this is very common in fermented foods, kombucha, pickles, right. sauerkraut, right. all that's there. So we use it in brewing as well. All right, grains. When, when I think of malted barley, I think of grains, it kind of all lumps like into one category. It's like grains for making beer. Well then once you start like tasting grains, there's such a myriad of flavors and that's the kind of thing that chefs really need to be aware of. Stock with brewing elements and knowledge, it's time to take it to the test kitchen. When I began brewed food, there was no resource. So my team and I created a food lab to be that resource. Oh man, funky in the best kind of way. Before our efforts to bring that funk, things like using yeast strains to ferment kimchi were completely unheard of. That's why we get in the kitchen and we push. We push culinary boundaries, we push preconceived notions. If we don't fail 50% of the time, we aren't pushing hard enough. 